edX cell biology syllabus statement to 12 here we're recalling simple definitions of diffusion osmosis and active transport these are the three ways in which substances move into or out of cells Act diffusion osmosis or active transport diffusion is when molecules move from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration. In this case we're showing molecules moving from outside the cell to inside the cell or the high concentration of the molecules may be inside the cell and they will diffuse to the outside of the cell. <laughs> the process is described as being passive because we do not have to add energy. The energy comes from the kinetic energy of the molecules themselves. Osmosis is the movement of water. The rule for osmosis is that water will move from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution through a membrane. Here the contents of the cell are concentrated and it's surrounded by a solution which is dilute and so water enters the cell or we can have the cell in which the contents are dilute in comparison to the surrounding fluid around the cell, in which case the prediction according to the rule is that water will move from the dilute solution inside the cell in the cytoplasm to the concentrated solution surrounding the cell. This is the process of osmosis where water moves from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution. The third process is called active transport. In this situation molecules can be moved from outside the cell to inside the cell where they build up high concentration inside the cell. So notice that we're going from a low concentration to a high concentration and this means that we have to add energy. This is what makes the process active. So we transport the molecules from a low to a high low to high concentration but we must add energy to the system to achieve this. This can equally happen in the opposite direction where molecules are actively transported out of the cell from a low concentration to the high concentration of the molecule. This would still require energy. This is still an example of active transport.